she was like really really concerned she was like where did you get this and i got scared at first thinking that i did something wrong but actually she was really really happy <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. So today I went to the Lancaster Downtown Market. I was on the hunt for some herbs. I have adult acne and I have discovered a couple of herbs that may potentially help me with some of that. And so I went to the local herb shop. I really recommend going here. And uh, this is what I got. I got nettle, burdock, and licorice root. I also added some organic marigold and this is what it looks like. When I was in high school, I really enjoyed berry salads, but I haven't been eating them in several years. However, I decided to change that up and I did a strawberry and kale salad. I topped that off with some blueberry pomegranate dressing and it was absolutely delicious. I had that alongside a chicken bagel sandwich. Hey y'all, I am about to show you guys an herb that has been in my parents' backyard for several years. This is spearmint. Spearmint is an awesome herb with tons of healing properties. My favorite thing to do is honestly just go up to some spearmint and rub my hand on it a little bit. And then you just sniff it and honestly it always helps my like sinuses. It just feels like such a refreshing and cooling effect. So I was actually the reason why spearmint was introduced to my parents' backyard. I used to play a lot in the alleyway behind my house. Yerp. There it is. And I was always that kid who liked to grab really pretty flowers and um, weeds and bring them home to my mom as like a little bit of a bouquet. She would always get really, really mad because she'd be like, you can't be going in other people's yards. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm not going in other people's yards, mom. I definitely was. But one day, I found some really, really pretty herbs and they smelled good and I wanted to take them to my mom. And it was actually in the backyard, which now that I'm looking at, this might be red clove. More on that in a second. I took these things from the alleyway and I gave them to my mom. She was like really, really concerned. She was like, where did you get this? And I got scared at first thinking that I did something wrong but actually she was really, really happy. I didn't realize it at this time, but it was spearmint. My mom was able to create her own spearmint patch because of me looking around and being inventive and getting her hands dirty. And I ended up being able to choose a really, really awesome healing plant, which now that I'm older, I'm like, wow, that was such an amazing and intuitive thing I did as a kid. Also would bring her home lots and lots of dandelions, which now we know dandelions have a whole bunch of nutrients and are super, super great for you. But as a kid, my dad would be like, why are you bringing weeds home? And I'm like, they're not weeds, they're pretty flowers for mommy. But yeah, <laughs> so it's really cool to know that she still had spearmint. I was probably like, eight when i did that and i'm 23 now so she's had that for more than a decade wow anyway i know that clove also has really great properties too and i kept thinking to myself i've seen this flower before now that i'm back here i'm like holy shit i think that's clover i just double checked it on my plant identifier app and that absolutely is red clover i can search up how to properly forage red clover and take some home to work with me For breakfast today, I had a carrot pressed juice and I also had a dairy-free wheat. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to loose, hi little buddy, there's roly poly olies in here. <laughs> That's what I always call them. He's roly poly -oly. he's small and smart and raw. But yeah, I'm trying to loosen the 
ground around so that I can pull this out because I want the whole root in the greens. I actually watched a video that um, the best time to pick these to make like salads and stuff is like earlier in the spring. Now it's kind of towards like fall, the leaves just become like more bitter. But I think we could still try to make it into the pesto. <laughs> There's like a liquid that's formed on the end and over here too. This one's not as big though. I can see why my parents couldn't get rid of this. This shit is so deep. That's what she said. <laughs> I had a wonderful plate of arroz, habichuela, and avocado and recorded a video. Just a really quick and simple um, look today. Nothing too fancy, but still a nice little, you know, nice little, little addition. I also just recorded a video and so I don't even know what video is going to go up this week because that means now I have two completely recorded videos. So we'll see which one I decide to do on Thursday. Yeah, it's been a pretty good day, honestly. I've done some reflection work, got some content done, and overall, it's just been a good day. Later that day, I did a very deep clean of the dandelion root, and then I chopped them up so that I could bake them and make dandelion coffee. All chopped up, they look like yucca to me. My favorite vlogger is Sunday Love, and she lives in Japan. So as I was watching one of her videos, I paused it at exactly 22222. I painted my nails on Thursday, and painting my nails has been such a loving act of self-care. I try to actually do it once a week. This is my design. I did yellow with a trippy acid smiley face. That night I began painting a clay mushroom I have that I am going to be using for a really cool candle idea. I won't share any more right now, but when it is done, I will show it to you guys. Hello beautiful people, it is Friday and I am about to make a smoothie. Where's my Bob Burgers fans at? Well, if you won't eat our food, then choke on your reviews! Huh? Does this taste like enchilada ass? Eat it! Anywho, I made a chocolate peanut butter smoothie with sea moss gel, turmeric, coconut almond milk, and a tahini cup. If you're interested in a tahini cup recipe, I will link it down below. Look! Someone is skydiving! Experimenting with watercolor and coloring pages has been a great addition to my self-care. On Saturday, me and my boyfriend finished a standing table. It actually goes up and down, and I'm so proud of us. We did such a good job. Hello, beautiful people. It is Sunday, and I did my makeup, and we are about to go to the thrift store shortly. We are on the hunt for clothes to do our Valorant cosplay for. I finally got my boyfriend to choose something that we dress up together as for Halloween. He chose Valorant. So, we're going to do that today. We got our new disc in. That was fun. We also have some other things we need to grab. Um, so I think I'll take you guys along for the ride was my roommate so earlier that rising we began to move stuff out of the way and do a little bit of a clean so that we could get the new desk in we took down the monitors took down the heavy countertops and moved out the entire table frame out of the room so that we could move in the new desk unfortunately a little bit of it chipped off but that was okay because i was able to glue that back on and then it was just a matter of kind of getting everything back into its place The cats were very interested in the new desk, but ultimately received it quite well. Here is the final look. It looks so good. I'm so proud of us. And I'm sure this won't be the only table we'll ever build. 
We went to Target and a couple Goodwills, and man, Target always has the cutest office and stationery. Oh yeah, we made a bomb at-home Chipotle bowl. Oh my goodness, this was unmatched. And we made homemade chickpea tortilla chips. Ugh, so good guys, so good. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay grateful. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.